Gary, it's been an amazing April. Four wins, 11 goals and none conceded. Sounds good if you say it like that. Yeah, no, it, you know, it has. No, we've had a real good little run since the uh, Farnham game. I think we took a bit of confidence from that. And yeah, we've had a good run and we've got to keep it going now for a couple more weeks, hopefully. Yeah, so. And we now know that irrespective of results, we're going to finish in the playoffs and we're going to finish at least third in the league. Yeah, which is a good achievement. The league's tough and, and we've, like you say, we've done well this last month, which pushed us in there. And thankfully, we've closed the gap on Nap Hill and just ahead of them at the minute, but two big games ahead. We're aiming for second. That's got to be our goal now. And then keep pushing for that. And then hopefully another two big games after that. And second, of course, would mean home advantage through the playoffs and potentially a final at home. So support for that would be amazing. No, I'd like to think, you know, we get really big crowds. The support on Saturday was great. The noise was first we've heard it like that for a little while. So that on the back of the Farnham game, which was a real good atmosphere. Hopefully we can build over these next couple of games before going into the playoffs and just create a real uh, fortress, here, if you like, for that period. And looking at last season, kind of fell away through injuries, but now you've got selection headaches. There is lots of them. You know, we've rested a few tonight and they've not trained. We've played the last two games over there. Uh, and we've still got 17, 18 here, all pushing very hard. And like we just said to them there, it's been a squad effort through the season. Yes, we can only pick 16 now, but everyone who's been in round it have done their bit over the whole season to get us into this position. And now we've got to make sure we finish it for those guys as well, because they're still pushing, pushing in training, which keeps everyone on toes. And the win at Tooting on Saturday, a Lorne Bickley wonder goal that got it going in the second half. And he's been absolutely on fire the last few weeks. Yeah, you, you want your number nine scoring goals. And, you know, lorne has got a bit of confidence about him at the moment. Um, I think we're playing into him as much as we can because he's got, we've got a feed on that. Um, and he's leading the line great. But, um, you know, we've also had this period where we haven't conceded. And that starts all over the pitch from Lorne, sets the tempo at that. But the boys at the back, piercing goal. It's been a real team effort this last month. And we've just got to carry that on now and hopefully support Lorne and he can get a few more towards the end of it. And Tuesday on Hawley, comfortable 3-0 win, but the first half an hour was some of the best football we've probably seen apart from the Farnham game this season. Yeah, I think that's the challenge to the lads. I think we've, we've tightened up a bit lately and um, now it's now can we get the ball down and play. You know, sometimes teams don't let you and you've got to do the ugly stuff, which we've shown we can do. But if we get the chance to play, we want to play. And you know, we've got a lot of good footballers. They want to express themselves. It's how we want to play. And like I say, when we can, we will. Two games to go. It starts on Saturday with Fleet Town. Go well. Yeah, thanks very much.